Hey, how's it going? Thanks for joining me. Uh, today we're gonna check out my new, my newest guitar in my collection. It is the Paul Reed Smith S2 Vela Semi Hollow uh, with a couple modifications that I made. Um, it came with uh, like a clear lampshade style knobs on it and I was finding it hard to lift up. They're kind of slippery on the when you pull up. So I put some hip shot um, chrome knobs on there. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if that helps at all or not, but but yeah. And uh, much easier to, to grab, especially if you're in the middle of playing, you know, you just grab it. Those O-rings really help. Uh, and I also put black tuner buttons on there. And coolest headstock, one of the one of my favorite headstocks for sure. But uh, yeah, so overall, uh, I really love this guitar. It is awesome. As soon as you pick it up, you can just feel the quality. The gloss is just super cool, and it's very lightweight, very lightweight. But and generally, I kind of like heavier guitars, but with this one, it doesn't really matter at all. It just feels great. Um, it's a mahogany body, semi-hollow, plate style kind of bridge like you'd find on like a telly or something. Uh, Three-way, and you got your coil tap, or coil split, whatever. Uh, you got a Vela humbucker pickup. I think that's what, I think I just called a Vela pickup, and I, I think it, they said that it was, uh, on the Starla model initially, but and they just kind of tweaked it a little bit for this guitar. I could be wrong on that, but I think that's what I remember hearing. And I think they call this a Type D pickup. So it's a, it's like a fat single coil. Sounds really good. Rosewood board, locking tuners. Um, yep, pick guard. Some dust in there, you know. Um, and then you got your kind of square plate right there. And I think it, I think that's plastic. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's plastic. Not a bad thing, I'm just saying. Um, yeah, we'll check out some samples. We'll just go through, you know, uh, some clean, clean through dirty. This thing sounds cool, like on the heavy channel as well, you know. Um, so yeah, I'm using a Mesa Mark 5 25, uh, and then I also I'm going into my Sur Reactive Load and GGD Zilla uh, Cab Sim plugin, and then I'll throw on some Strymon Flint Reverb just for a little bit of room. All right, here we go. Clean uh, bridge. I'll start on the bridge and then work my way up to the neck. Here's the coil split. So yeah, that's the difference between like the middle position here's this, with the split on so you get this split and that versus just this and here's the bridge
Cool. All right. Here's a little bit without reverb. All right, we'll move over to the dirtier side of things. Well, okay. All right. And here is, here's with a boost, it's a Earthquaker Devices Plumes. Thank you. 
So there it is, S2 Vela, semi-hollow, pretty versatile guitar, I feel like. Um, you can do a lot with it, uh, especially if you have like, you know, a versatile amp and all that stuff, but even just, just the different voicings of the pickups and stuff allow you to do a lot. And I feel like just they're very unique sounding, you know? So, yeah, I highly recommend it. Um, the quality is there. Like when I roll, when I do this, I do not feel the frets at all. Like the, the fret edges, they feel so good. So good. So, yep, that's the S2 Vela, Paul Reed Smith. Uh, this is my first S2 and I am very impressed. I kind of want more, you know? <laughs> um, but yeah, if you have any questions or anything, leave them below. I'll do my best to get back to you. Uh, yep, I'll see you next time. Uh, any likes or, or subscribes would be much appreciated. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you on the next video. All right, peace.